A quick editing note. These videos are ancient and recorded with the old TikTok app, so they kind of sound like potatoes. Really old potatoes. I do intend to redo this series on YouTube, but that's for another video. Enjoy! Legally Blind Things Part 1! For those of you that know me from Twitch, you'll know I'm visually impaired. And if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Lexi, I'm visually impaired! I have a thing called bilateral optic neuropathy, which basically means I have vision about one-tenth of regular correctable vision, and everything's really fuzzy. And that's with glasses. My vision without glasses is so bad it's represented by a strange symbol that looks like a magnifying glass taped to a potato. No, I can't drive or beat you at ping pong, but I'll tell you what we can do. We can delve into the secret world of all the mystic tricks that I use, and probably other legally blind people use too, to get around in everyday life. Nah. Number the first. I can't see faces at a distance that well, so I identify people by their color schemes. When I identify somebody positively for the first time that day, I memorize what they're wearing. And using that and other markers like their voice and gait, I can usually identify people from 30 or 40 feet away. A friend of mine once screwed with this by changing outfits four or five times that day, just so I would have to re-identify him every single time. Holy crap, that time went fast. Part two next. Legally blind things, part two. If you're lost, go back to part one. I can't read overhead restaurant menus, and I really hate them. What should I do? Ask the cashier to read items from the menu directly behind them. What do I do because I'm shy and I don't want to be a bother? One of three things! Number one, Google the menu on my phone if I have enough time in line. I'm usually too ADHD to have actually prepared for this moment. Thing the second! Look around for window decals in the windows for deals and stuff of food I might like, and then order from that. Thing the third, which is way more common than you would think. Panic, use my hearing to eavesdrop on everyone else's order, and order based on whatever the customer in front of me ordered. I have the general menu of most chain restaurants memorized, but like if it's a small place, that's like a one-off. I have no idea what's on that chalkboard menu above your head. I can't read that. This also means that a lot of combo deals and promotions and stuff like that go right by me because I can't see them and I end up spending way more money than I need to. If it is appropriate, I will try to take a picture of the menu and then read off my phone to read the menu out. But sometimes it's still really dark and it's awkward for the employees. And part three next. Legally blind things, part three. Electric, but we. Legally blind people have cooler tech than you. And I'm not even talking about specialized tech like the Doherty from Enhanced Vision. Follow if you want to hear more about this Cyclops Pfizer from space. I'll probably talk about it in a later one. Nope, I'm just talking about our phones. And our tablets. And our computers. Oh right, I forgot. Our computers are massive. Energy drink for scale. This thing is 55 inches. If you ever see me in real life, come say hi. I don't bite hard. But you might notice a wire in my left ear. Observe. If you see this wire and I'm staring off into space, I'm either distracted, very likely, or I'm reading an article. Let's show you how that works. Let's read something about Keanu Reeves, because everyone loves Keanu Reeves. We hit the accessibility button, and then we highlight the text we wanted to read. Reeves is a Canadian actor, activist, and musician. He gained fame for his starring roles in several blockbuster films, including comedies from the Bill and Ted franchise, action thrillers. It probably sounds really fast to you, but if you've been reading TTS a long time, you get to be faster and faster at it. Eventually, you go so fast, you break the sound barrier and become all-knowing. Same thing on iOS, triple-click the power button, hit the thing you want to read. Part 4 will be desktop computers and the tech I use for Twitch. Bye! Legally Blind Things, Part 4. I get a lot of questions. How do you stream on Twitch if you're legally blind? Meet my computer setup. Oh, and Pink Doom Guy wearing cat ears says hello. This is the main screen. Scale tends to get a little weird with how big this thing is, but this is the size of a regular gaming controller. It's basically a 55-inch TV, and the Google logo on it is actually 2 inches tall. With my eyesight, I have to be 18 inches away from this to be able to see it. So how do I get a camera in front of my face? Dun 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 Oh, and the mic. Do, 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 do. Next, we use Windows Magnifier to magnify any text on the screen that's still too small. That's the Windows and Equals key, and Windows Mine. And if you're trying to quit Windows Magnifier now, Windows Escape will close it. I map these shortcuts to the two buttons on the G602 Logitech. So all I have to do is this. That's all well and good, now how do I read chat? This is a program called Stream Talker. Through some fancy audio routing and voice meter, game audio, music, and chat goes into my ear. All that gets mixed together and... Legally Blind Things, Part 5. Yes, I know my hair is a mess and we're in a different place. I'm traveling right now, okay? Perks of being legally blind. Because my glasses don't really do much, if I lose them, it's not that big of a deal. A girl I really liked in high school during a summer camp actually sat on my glasses once. And I didn't have my glasses for the entire seven-week summer camp, but it was still okay because I couldn't see that much better with them anyway. Things have less details, so they look better. I don't know, Bob. That car's got a lot of scratches on it. Yeah, Steve, there's dings and dents and scratches all over it. Hi, my name is Lexi, and that car's gorgeous! Third perk of being legally blind, you can eternally be the comic relief, if you want to be. Not only do you get eternal privileges to tell legally blind jokes whenever you darn well please, but if you walk into a gray pole on a gray sidewalk because it blundered into the gray road behind it, you can look at your friends and smirk and laugh and they'll laugh and laugh and think it wasn't on purpose and you can just, you can, you can make a joke, okay? Be the joke. It's okay to be the joke. <laughs>
It's over. And finally, every single round of ping pong turns into an exciting game of moon jump scares. <laughs> part six next. Beware of pinging the pong. Legally Blind Things, part six. Featuring all the stupid crap Lexi's done because she can't see. I've walked up to people in stores that were wearing the same colors as my wife and put stuff nearly in their cart. They've always been looking away or something at that time, so it's always been okay. But one day it's going to be so awkward. I've gotten the wrong dressing at buffets many times because they put tiny little text labels on them and I can't see. Hmm, Caesar dressing. Just kidding, it's blue cheese! Every single crack and every single sidewalk is trying to kill me. I have problems with contrast, so every gray pole in every gray city is trying to kill me. Every silver car with its headlights off in the rain on a gray road is also trying to kill me. Every gray assassin wearing gray robes hiding on a gray wall is also- Wait, trying to- What? Clear water in a clear glass on a black table is completely invisible to me, and I burned one of my favorite keyboards because of this. If you or anyone you know ever does packaging designs for chips, make it really obvious that the chips are supposed to be spicy. Because if your normal chips are red, and your spicy chips are red, and I can't read that tiny little spicy label- <laughs> Follow for part seven! Legally Blind Things, part seven. App review! Yes, today we're going to be going through all the apps I use on a daily basis and seeing how accessible they are. Which ones are pure delicious buttery goodness and which ones are disgusting? Fun fact, seven is one of my lucky numbers because I'm cliche. TikTok, you're first. Ugh, who the hell is that? So TikTok's not bad overall, but this text works. But the comments and hearts don't. So I have to use the notes pen magnifier to see things. Also, my system font is this big and comments are this big, but reply text is that. Why is this so small? Next up, Facebook. Ha 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 no. Instagram. The feed is alright and sort of respects font sizes, but for some odd reason the DM text is super tiny. You the two. When playing a video, if you have screen readers enabled, this never goes away. Ever. They finally added this little X later on, but you have to hit it for every single video. And one of my favorites, Discord. Do you guys want a Discord server? We could make a public one. Discord is nearly perfect. I wish the font size was slightly bigger, but it's great. Part 8 next. Legally Blind Things, Part 8. All the cool tricks you can steal from legally blind people to use for your own advantage. <laughs> Trick the first. Count U.S. coins out in your pocket. There are four commonly used U.S. coins. We have Washing Bro, Rusey Guy, Jeffer Boy, and Lincoln Babe. For those that aren't in U.S., that's 25 cents, 10 cents, 5 cents, and 1 cent. The penny still exists for reasons of blah, 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 blah. To count these out in your pocket, you need to know two things. There are two large and two small coins, and there are two coins with ridges on them. The 25 cent is large and has ridges. The 10 cent is small and has ridges. The nickel is smooth and large-ish. The penny is smaller, lighter, and is smooth. So if you need to make 35 cents, you count out one large with ridges and one small with ridges. Now, if you want to count out bills, you're screwed. But they did add a large number in the corner in the newest series of cash currency, at least for legally blind people. Follow it for part nine. And yes, the public Discord server is coming tomorrow. I'll need your help to signal boost it. Legally blind things. Part nine. My dog knows I'm legally blind and intentionally screws with me. Appreciate this glorious shirt. So you all know Freya. This adorable floof. The more visually astute among you will notice that she is a very dark dog. The Lexi wife and I have a dark gray couch. Do you see where this is going yet? On more than one occasion. It has been late. I have just taken Freya out and brought her back in. But I'll get distracted and I'll panic and I'll think I hadn't brought her back inside. Freya's not an outside dog and I don't want to accidentally leave her outside. I have run through the house calling her name and looking around for her. Freya, where the hell are you? Freya, Freya, oh crap, did I leave her outside? Oh my god, where is she? And she has sat there on the couch watching me run around looking for her, panic, not making a sound, not moving, just, just, just wait. And I can't see her because the couch is super dark. She doesn't do this to Lexi wife. Only me. And I'm pretty sure she's just laughing and dog. <sighs> anyway, public Discord server is now open. Go to thelexikitty.com to join. Please read the rules and the server is 18 and up. Legally Blind Things, part 10. What the hell is wrong with Lexi's eyes? A lot of the comments on the previous video asks why I don't use glasses. I do use glasses, just not when I film. But let's first explain why glasses don't work for all people. I have bilateral optic neuropathy. Let me explain. So you have a camera as the eye and a screen as your brain. My brain is blacked out for your safety. And we put a wire between your eye and your brain. Good lens, good camera, good wire, good brain. Perfect sight. Glasses are, basically, changing out the lens of the camera. The sensor of the camera is your retina, and this wire carries all the things you can't unsee to your brain. That wire is called the optic nerve. And Lexi's optic nerves gave up the will to live when she was five. My optic nerves, for reasons unknown, has started slowly dying, and nobody knows why. So it's basically like pouring acid on that wire we were talking about. 
which means no matter how good the lens is, i.e. the glasses, your sight can only do so well. I have two pairs of glasses, one for two feet, and one for about five feet. More to come, and come join our Discord at thelexikitty.com.